what's going on guys drone the dogs here welcome back to the channel all right guys so today we're going to be checking out this one i think it's a 116 scale i can't remember i think it's a 116 scale by rc monsters um 116 scale four-wheel drive i guess it's called the buffalo you can see the different colors here they got a uh, yellow one red one and this one right here i believe i got this color here that's on the box i think so it's got a 390 brush motor in there shock absorber i don't believe it's oil filled shocks but we have to see once we get everything out of the box so a couple of specs here on the side of the box i guess it's called the buffalo by rc monsters but i picked this bad boy up on um amazon you guys so yeah just swinging the box around kind of showing you guys what it says on the box i guess it has full bearings throughout 2.4 gigahertz controller of course um looks like it has a mini to my connector there's a uh, speed controller and stuff like that so let's go ahead and just get this bad boy out of the box and see what it's all about let's get it so you guys know i got the handy dandy unboxing um, knife on did neck yeah i got the red the red version see it right there so let's get this rc monsters out of the box what do you guys say about that? Okay. Instruction manual. Controller, I'm guessing, and batteries and stuff like that. All right, guys, so here is everything out of the box. I would definitely say this is a, a 16 scale RC car. Here's a little goodie bag. Looks like they even gave us batteries for the transmitter there. We got our battery for the RC car itself. Little Phillips screwdriver, so that's pretty cool. A charger, mini to my connector. Looks like we even got some LED lights there. Let me uh, open this, actually open this bag up and see what we get here. So let's go ahead and just get this bag open. Usually, I don't pop the stuff open. We usually get extra stuff here. So yeah, we got some um, batteries for the charger. Look like a, a couple extra screws here. Dump the screw out there. Or a screw, I don't know what this screw is gonna be for. But look like, uh, yeah, so we got an extra screw for something. Here is our tiny little battery. It's a 900 milliamp hour, 7.4 volt lithium ion battery with this little mini to my connector you guys you guys can see that 900 milliamp hour battery here's our charger for it usb with the balance lead so that's pretty typical for this type of vehicle but yeah that's pretty cool i didn't think it come with led lights so we got some led lights so we're gonna have to install batteries for the transmitter uh phillips screwdriver um instruction manual pretty cool nice and colorful um, looks like it has a 390 brush motor in there. Goes over everything. So this is pretty cool. Looks like you can get an optional wheelie bar and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, that looks pretty decent for this type of kit. So yeah, let's go. go ahead and get this stuff here to the side. Looking at the remote, the remote looks pretty cheap and basic, but it's pretty much what you expect. They got an on and off switch here on the top. We got steering trim. It says steering try. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see that steering try. <laughs> and it has, of course, speed control. So uh, it's like it's going to be full, fully proportional steering and throttle, but no foam on the steering wheel. And uh, at least they gave us batteries for that remote. So it's pretty, pretty cheap. The transmitter, like they cut cost on the transmitter. But here's the truck. Doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel like oil fill shocks. It's a little bouncy, but I don't know if you can add oil. I don't think you can add oil into those, but. I have to see when at a later date I have to actually taking the um, shocks apart, but we're not gonna get into that today. Let's take these body clips off. Get these body clips off and um, 
take a look underneath the hood here. Ah, body clip off. Taking a look underneath the hood there. So yeah, ooh, two batteries. So that's a surprise. I didn't know it was gonna come with two batteries. The body feels actually pretty decent. Your typical uh, Lex same body, but it feels pretty sturdy. So it should hold up for a little bit. I would think it would. So looking at the guts, it's like we got a two-in-one ESC and receiver combo there. We got an extra battery there. That's another 900 milliamp hour battery. And we got a nice, nice 390 brush motor with the heat sink with that little warning. Take that off. So yeah, heat sink on there, power switch. Um, you got a servo in there, three wire servo. Not your typical three wire, but it looks it's a three wire servo, all the same. Yeah, these are just friction shocks, I think. So but they don't feel too bad for this type of vehicle. Um, these are not foam field tires. These feel like they're like air field tires, but it should be pretty decent for what we're looking at in this price point, you guys. Look at that, decent wheel. So, I mean, they don't feel too bad. Got a bumper front and rear. So it says bearings. So definitely, and we have a, a light socket for the course for the LEDs that we can install. I didn't know it was gonna come with the LEDs. So we are gonna get these batteries charged up and go for a quick run in this video. So let me get these batteries charged up and we'll get out for a run. All right, guys, so I did get uh, one of these batteries fully charged up. Only took me about maybe a half an hour to get that battery charged up. It's only a 900 milliamp, 900 milliamp hour battery with the little mini uh, Tamiya connector on it. Now I do have the uh, speed switch. Let me get this adjusted here for just a second. I do have the speed switch set all the way up to the max. And we, I'm just gonna call this guy the little Buffalo, this RC monster truck. I'm gonna call it the Buffalo because that's what it said on the box. But let's go ahead and just see. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this bad boy. I got the uh, see the servo there, so not too bad. Um, let's go ahead and just see what we can do. It's actually pretty quick. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't try to hit the ramp. Now it's kind of wet. It's kind of been raining off and on today. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I don't know. I forget what the speed listing says it was going to be for this bad boy that's actually not too bad for how cheap it was and i did uh fit the led lights on it you can see right there the led lights right there you can see now if it's going too fast you can dial it down it does have speed or throttle trim i should say on here Of course, now we're not getting as much traction as we should get with this this wet pavement out here. It's kind of been raining on and off. Probably not, we're not going to really go off road with it today. Kind of just testing it out. That's actually not too bad, guys, at all. Just some general running. I should mention it is four-wheel drive and it is fully proportional steering and throttle, guys. Now I'm driving with one hand, so I can't really hit the ramp like that the first time. So, turn it up just a bit. Oh, that's not too bad. Not too bad. A little 16 scale brush monster truck with a three, 390 motor. Those are friction shocks, too. I definitely will have to get the GPS out and get a speed test just to see how fast this bad boy is going on a 390 brush motor. 
Now we're not gonna break any speed records or nothing, but I am kind of curious now. So, I can line that ramp up. Now I'm dragging a little passenger on the back. Yeah, this is not too bad at all for the price. I think it was like 50, 60 bucks, something like that. And you can't catch it sometimes with a coupon. I think I had got it with a coupon. I think I got this one like for 30 bucks, actually, with the coupon. But I don't know. That leaf off of there. There it go. I don't know um, if that coupon is going to be still there at the time of this video. I'm not sure. But if it is, definitely hit that coupon up. Look at that. Test. Yeah, this is not too bad at all. You get two batteries. Curious how fast it would go in the lipo. Yeah, but just to get out and run some, test some, this is not too bad at all. Cock on on the... Wow, first flip over. I did leave a little plastic on the body too. It does come with a little protective film on it. I did leave that on for the first run. I don't want to scar this body up too bad. I'm curious how long that 900 milliamp hour battery will last. It's raining again. It's actually raining. All right, y'all. This is going to be just a first quick run of this. Like I said, I'm just call it the Buffalo. <laughs> but I'm your boy, Jane the Dog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm actually going to run this a little bit more and just kind of test it a little bit more. But you guys will see it. Probably follow up with a speed test and off-road run. Once it stops raining, it's actually raining right now. But don't forget to like, subscribe. Catch you guys next episode. I am out. Deuces.